What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we got a bunch of stuff to do. We need to unload a whole lot of silage. I don't know if we're going to get to all of it today. We're going to try and get to as much as possible. We need to get a rack for pallets. We've got a bunch of pallets just kind of hanging out back here. Uh, right on the other side of the pigs. We need to figure those out. Also, we need somewhere to put all this. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to take field 31 because it's mostly flat. We're going to take that whole area and we are going to buy a bunch of silos. So we're going to get the large grain silo and then we're going to take a PC mod that we have installed. If I can find it, here we go. The multi silo extension and we're going to put those all over the place. We can put so much stuff in there. It's not even funny, but because we have these silos, we could put the exact same stuff in there. And I thought it would look really cool. So that is what we're going to attempt to do today. Now we are playing on update 1.3. So if you guys haven't downloaded that, if you haven't jumped on Farming Simulator, make sure you do go ahead and get that downloaded. It fixes a whole lot of problems. Yes, it does. Speaking of, let's get this guy unloaded. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Here we go. Here we go. One thing is, it's got a one, up top left hand corner of the screen, there's a one right above, like, this. And I have no idea what that one means or stands for, or is, for that matter. So, what? I guess whatever, right? We need to get this thing spun around, because I don't want this there. I want this, like, right here-ish? Something like that? And then turn it on, bring it up to about meow, right there. And now we're good. So this is going to take a bit of time again. Like I've said, we're gonna bring this by and we're just gonna keep backing this up ever so slowly, ever so surely. We're just gonna kind of keep backing it up until it gets to where we want it to be. So yeah, right. Oh man, I stink at backing up. Might get better though with the new steering. Ooh. It steers so good. I love the fact that this thing goes all over the place. All right, let's uh, let's get that there. Start unloading silage. So we're gonna attempt to get this done. This I figured would help us a whole lot. Oh yeah, and it's just gonna dig through the silage. It's just digging through, picking it up, grabbing it all. Oh, let's get away from the wall over here. Oh, uh oh. There we go. This may not be the fastest way to do it, but I think for our scenario and our case, this may be the best way to do it. And of course, if we really wanted to, we could go get another one. I think there's enough room. Yeah, there's enough room to do two of these, though I'm not sure if that is gonna be what we're gonna eat about. Regardless, we're gonna get our first couple loads of this done. Uh, we will fill up pretty quickly in our silo mainly because we have 289,000 liters in there already. Oh yeah. Speaking of, let's take a look at our animals. I think the animals are mostly good. Yeah, animals are mostly good. Since the last time that I saw you guys, we had a little bit of money. So what I did was I went and spent that money on extra cows and sheep. Pigs, I bought, was it 20 to start with? That was it. We bought a whole lot more sheep, actually maxed out the sheep so that we can get as much wool as possible. And then, of course, our Brahmin right there, we bought, I think it was about 100-ish more. I think we had like 40-some. So we only got 131. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So let's keep going, keep rocking, keep rolling. You guys know how we do. There we go. We filled it up. No more at all. We can't put anything else in there. What we're going to do is we're just going to kind of sit this guy right under here and turn it off, turn this on, and just set it to unload and just kind of keep pulling forward every once in a while. Just let it go. What we want to do now is we want to get some of those racks for the pallets. So with these, I think we're going to find these in, is it miscellaneous? Is that correct? Or is it decorations? Ooh, it might be decorations. Yep, definitely going to be in decorations. Here we go. Nice. So with this right here, I just wanted to kind of get it in an area where there's not going to be a whole lot of traffic, nothing coming through, nothing like that, but somewhere where we could just put it and get some of these pallets out of the way. Because these pallets are a little bit in the way right now. Is that 
that too far? Too far? Too close? I mean, they're right there, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they're right there. Uh, you know what? Let's just... Boom. Let's just put one down. Is he done? Do I have to pull it forward some more? Something's going on over here. Let's see. I'm about to find out what. Uh... Oh, it turned itself off. We were gone so long it turned itself off. Uh-oh. Maybe that won't go automatically after all. Yikes. Well, we've got a new tractor around here somewhere, don't we? Something... Actually, you know, this is a job for our 4220 over here. Let's see if we can jump over here and run a little bit faster. Yeah. This guy right here. Some things are in the way. We need to get these things out of the way. For things the snowblower get or not snowblower gosh wouldn't that be awesome to have i would be using that in there in a heartbeat get rid of that there we go now spin around let's pick this up i think we've got pallet forks on the front if so that is going to be perfect moment of truth yep there they are and we have four wheel steering so we are good here i have pallet forks for our uh telehandler but i think that these are going to be more uh, more suited for this job. So, about right there. Come through. First pallet. Got it. I'm thinking, let's see, do we do top row or do we do middle row? You know, let's go top row, just for fun of it. Here we go, nice and easy, nice and easy. And again, we're just trying to get this place kind of straightened up, make it look nice, give us places to put stuff. Here's that. Boom it out just a little bit more. Pallet number one in the bag, baby. Yeah, yeah. There's one. We got another three pallets over here. So let's get these done up. This will not take long. This is a very short job. Nonetheless, still has to be done. Oh, I'm not on that pallet at all. Come on, come on, come on. Just, just a little, little bit more. Come on, I'm just trying to do legit, man. I'm just trying to be legit. There's one. I do love this tractor. If anyone is on the fence about getting a, a, a JCB 4220, this thing is perfect. You've got front loader. you got 200 and some horsepower on it. You've got four-wheel steering, so you can get in and out. I mean, front and rear three-point linkage. I mentioned... Oh, you put duels on it, too. I mentioned in a video in Farm Sim 17 that when we got the new one, the uh, the forest version of this that's got the thing on the back of it, I had mentioned in there, I said, you know, if we could just get this with a front loader on it, and if we could just get duels on the regular one, that that would be the best tractor in the game. And I got to tell you what, there's a reason I've had it on, what, two Let's Plays now? Three Let's Plays? There's a reason for it. Because it is legit the best tractor that I've driven. This thing's perfect. Got a lot of horsepower, and it's got everything. It can do anything you want. Let's get this last bit under here. Boom. There you go. What do you think? We got it done, and it is perfect. So, this guy can go back away. We can put this back up. I think it's time to start creating our little farm. Now, we're going to have to take out a loan. We're going to have to take out a substantial loan. So, this right here is our main little farm area with all of our sheds for our tractors. If you come through this way, this is field 31. This is what I want to turn into our huge storage area and, and all kinds of stuff. Mainly for putting crops back and getting, uh, you know, extra pig food, that kind of thing. We've got what we have. You know, it's a 5,000, 5,000 liter, 500,000 liter, sorry, 500,000 liter silo right here. However, I don't want to just place down a bunch of these and be done with it. I want to make a little area that I think is cool. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this area and we're going to place down silos. And then we're gonna come through and make all the grass look good and that kind of thing. So let's get us out of the way. Let's go in, 
start landscaping. Here we go. And don't own this land. Well, I think we can take care of that, can't we? There we go. Bought it. It's ours. Now, silos. We are going to go with this style of silo right here. This is going to be our main grain silo. And I say... We're going to create a little road through here. We're going to have to take out some trees. Both of these trees. Actually, actually all three of these. But I want to create a little road through there. That comes out to about right here. This gives us plenty of room to turn around, spin around, whatever. So let's place this down right here. Bam. Now, where are our extensions? These guys right here. So I want to place down their 300,000 liters each. I want to place down enough of these to where we're going to be okay. So I'm thinking, let's see, we've got, well, we would need, what, 10 of these things to get everything. We've got 3 million liters. So I don't think we have enough money for 10 of these. That's the problem. All right, let's see. Let's get close-ish, about right there. And one. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We're going to place down a couple of these, aren't we? There's that, about right. Two. Can we get a third one down here? Actually, let's not worry about that. And let's do, let's see. Should we do on the other side? Yeah, let's do on the other side too. About right here. Something like that. And then we will spin it. There we go. So all of the... All the ladders are on the same side. Okay, that's good. Boom. There's one. And boom. There's another one. And can we get a couple more around here? So that's, let's see, three, six, nine. That's 1.2 million liters right there. I wonder if we could put a couple more right here. Maybe bang. Maybe one right there boom and then just for fun we'll stick one right here because because we can that's why pow so that is a pretty decent size area right now that we've got going on and i know we could put a couple more down here how oh, should we man i'm <laughs> i'm not opposed to it that's what i'm talking about because this is all going to be for that silage that we decided that was going to be a good idea to make a bunch of Let's see. About right there. That gives us plenty of room to drive in and out. Pow. One there. And I think we've got enough money for one more. We're going to have to take out another loan for sure. Bam. Yep. Uh, we're going to have to take out another loan. Ugh, that's a whole lot of money. Time for the loan. Now, because we've got everything put down, we did get the loan taken care of. So now, I didn't even realize it. We not only have the 10 that I said we needed, we have 11. That's right. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we take this area right here and we put some of these guys down. Oh yeah. One thing we will have to do is we will have to come through here and flatten this entire area because this is very notorious for being, well, Kind of all over the place a little bit. So we need to take, let's see, it seems about like right here's where it starts to get flattened out. So we are going to hit flatten. Now this is going to delete the cr or the field completely, but that's okay. There we go. Come through here. We're going to put down a couple bunkers. I don't know how far out that goes. Bang, bang. I want to go to the edge of the field. A little bit more. Pow. Perfect. Now we got to take these up just like so. Again, remembering to keep it completely flat. That is the goal here. There we go. There's that. And we'll come through and just kind of flatten out the rest of this. Just like so. Now, is that enough room? That's the question. Is that enough room? Because we're going to put some of these lighted bunkers down. Does that give us enough room? Oh, plenty of room. Are you kidding me? Plenty of room. We basically made our own BGA over here. 
you think about that. That's all right. That's not too bad, is it? So let's get this kind of figured out and sorted. About right, uh, about right there, I think, is good. There we go. There's that. And then we're just going to put another one right beside it. Now, we, could we combine the walls on these? I think we can. I think we can, but I know we shouldn't. About right there. I know it's real tedious. It's real tedious coming through here, making sure it's all good. I'm just going to put it down. Forget it. Yes. Now we've got this whole area. we got to make it look good. But we've essentially made our own BGA. What do you guys think about that? That's, that's, you know, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. So let's go through... Uh, Let's go through here just finish this area up because I know that this is not gonna be happy with us here we go there's a ooh, too much too much made a mistake nice and easy nice and easy just through there all right let's make this thing a little bit smaller just like that and let's come through and just like that perfect this is good. This is what we want. See, the thing is, when you go in like that, it always tries to start going crooked on you. It's like, no, I want it to be normal. Boom, boom, boom. Almost done. Almost done, guys. Coming through, rolling through. We are going to plant grass back here. I just want to get this flat, and then we're going to come through. And uh, there we go. Oh, just a little bit more. Come on, just a little bit more. You know what? It's starting to do the thing already. So now let's come through. Let's take our brush strength all the way up. Uh, how's that? How do you do brush strength? Darn it. There we go. Now we just want to kind of even all this out. Now we don't want to go too far with it. I want it all to come into itself. Just like that. Perfect, 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 perfect. This is working. He's, oh, I forgot we can't do the grass thing. Darn. Well, we'll just have to put down normal grass. That'll be okay. Yep. The uh, the So whenever you're going through, I know this is a watching video. It's not really a uh, listening video, is it? So I know that going through doing all this, whenever you do this, you're not going to be able to put the grass down. With the new update, the way it works is some of the maps have, well, do not have the option to come through and plant grass down. So what we've got to do is we've pretty much just got to do it the old fashioned way. That. I know it's not what you wanted to see, but it works and it's fine with me. I don't care. Let's see, let's bring, uh, Let's bring our brush strength down. There we go. Nope, don't want to do that. Want to keep it flat there. Paint. Yes, here we go. We just want to come through behind this and paint it. And then we'll put up some fences and make it look nice and kind of in an area and be like, oh, you know, that's well, that's quite nice. You did a good job, DJ. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> and that'll be how it is. There you go. So let's get this finished up. And then we're going to come through and I'll show you what we've done. So it may not be the greatest, but this is going to be awesome for us. The big thing is getting all of the, ugh, get all that darn silage over here, into here. So we have huge silage area. Uh, we can fit, was it 32? I think it is. 30, no, 33. Yeah. 30 or 3.3 million liters of silage over here. That is the end goal anyway. So what we've done is we've placed down quite a few different things. We've got two of the lighted bunkers, which were amazing. And I was able to talk to the modder for this for a few seconds uh, via chat. This is good. If you're watching, you did a fantastic job. Keep doing what you're doing. We do need to get in here and we ourselves need to even that out just a little bit straight across. But we've got places over here for storage. We've got somewhere closed storage. So we've got stuff. We got stuff. We got lights. And we've got a nice little wooded area here. Very cool. Very cool. Here's the problem. This is our road in. And it is blocked. So what we got to do is we've got to bloop, 
jump down. We got to get this fence gone. We got to get, eh, you know, I like the tree. I really do like the tree. I bet we could climb up in there and just kind of trim it a little bit. I want the, I want to keep the tree there and I want to keep this tree here. I just want to trim it just a little bit. Here we go. Let's get this all finished up. First thing to do is to jump on top and find out where the green is going. So we are going this way. So what we want to do is we want to chop the top of this. Boom. And we want to chop the top of this. There we go. So that's going to be our entrance point. And this will be our other entrance point. Cool, cool. So we have three to take care of. Oh, yeah. You know that sound is doing it to it. Let's roll through. Oh, no. It didn't do the whole thing. <laughs> Here we go. A little bit more. Chomped it up. There we go. Chomped it up. Oh, yeah. Man, we're almost done, too. This is great. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Come on. I think it's really weird how we're pulling forward, but making that disappear. Whatever. I don't care. It's working. Push it over. Nice and easy. Skirt, scoot, 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 scoot. <laughs> There's that. A little bit more here. Can we get this disappeared? Nah. I'm going to do this the old-fashioned way. Gotcha. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. We're going to get a little trimming up, and then we're going to start moving. Hopefully, we will be able to get everything moved over here. This is plenty of room. This is way more room than we need. We've got two awesome bunkers here. We have made our own BGA. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drip a like. Drip a like? Yeah, drip a like if you've not already plopped a subscribe. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. That whole ending was just way off. You know what? I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>